we are going to use a shorter truth table to prove the validity of a propositional argument. Now, since an argument is considered invalid whenever the premises are true and the conclusion is false, to prove validity with a shorter truth table, we start by assuming the argument to be invalid. And we have an argument here that we're going to work with. I'll just put a line under it. And then we will divide the argument into premises and conclusion. Now to make this argument invalid, we need to assume that each premise is true. So let's mark that one as true. We'll mark the second one as true. And we also need to assume that the conclusion is false. So we will mark this conclusion as false. Now we're going to work backwards along the argument and determine the remaining truth values to be true or false. We'll start with the conclusion right here. So in this case, for this proposition, P implies R to be false, P will have to be true, and R will have to be false. Now, we will take these truth values and fill them in with the other P's and R's in the argument. So we know we've got a P right here, we will fill in the same value that we have for this P. So we will fill in true. And we have an R right here, and we'll fill in the same value we have for this R, which is false. All right, so far so good. Now we need to figure out what Q is. Now in the second premise right here, if R is false, but the entire premise is true, Q has to be false. Otherwise, the conditional would be false, and that wouldn't work. So we fill in Q as false. Now, we try to take this over to the first premise. And if we fill this in, we may recognize that we actually have a problem, because for this whole premise to work out to be true, and assuming that P is also true, Q is going to have to be true. So what we have here is a contradiction because basically we've shown that Q will have to be both true and false at the same time and that's not going to work. So our assumption that this whole argument is invalid is wrong. We showed that the false conclusion could not come from the true premises, so this is not invalid. Instead, we assume that it is valid.